Ukrainian army should strike Russian railway carrying military equipment to Crimea. Analyst. In addition to the Crimean bridge, the Ukrainian defense forces need to cut the land corridor in the direction of the new Rostov Crimea railway in the occupied territory, said Colonel of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, military analyst Petra Chenik. As he emphasized in a comment to the chief editor, for this the Ukrainian armed forces needs a sufficient number of long-range missiles of various types. The expert recalled that during Operation Desert Storm, the United States expended more than 60 ATA CMS missiles, while the coalition had 1,700 aircraft and 100,000 sorties were flown during the operation. And this is against Saddam Hussein's army, which was not as powerful as the Russian army, despite the fact that the Russian army is now battered, beaten and undermined, it is still stronger and more powerful than Hussein's Iraqi troops, he noted. The interlocutor explained that even now, after US strikes against Saddam Hussein's regime, destroyed bunkers and airstrips remain. The strikes were so massive that even after 14 years, they could not restore the infrastructure there. I can't imagine what we will have after using, for example, hundreds of F-16 aircraft. Chernik added, unlike the Kirsch Bridge, which has been a target of Ukrainian attacks and serves as the sole connection between Crimea and Russia, this new land route offers distinct logistical advantages. Despite its proximity to the conflict zone, the railway provides an alternative, potentially less vulnerable pathway. In the event of disruption, repairing a damaged railway is typically quicker and easier compared to major bridge repairs. Additionally, the new route offers a significant reduction in travel distance, slashing the journey by 200 kilometers and facilitating the swift movement of personnel and supplies. Ukrainian experts stress the urgency of neutralizing the railway threat. Dmitry Pletenchuk, speaker of the naval forces of the Ukrainian armed forces, told media the railway along the land corridor is actually a recognition on the part of the Russian occupiers that the Crimean bridge is doomed. They are looking for a way to hedge their bets because they are aware that sooner or later they will have a problem. Additionally, Sergei Brachuk, a military spokesperson, highlighted the importance of disrupting enemy logistics, stating, this is a big target for our defense forces. Logistics in the enemy's resource. It is necessary to complete the task of destroying it because this resource allows Russia today to wage war in one breath. We need to wear down the enemy. One person has died, another is missing and seven others were injured after an explosion rocked downtown Youngstown in Ohio on Tuesday afternoon, officials said. The explosion occurred near the Central Square at the Realty Building on East Federal Street. The building houses a Chase Bank at the bottom and apartments up top. The area was evacuated after the explosion. The cause of fire is unknown and police are urging residents to avoid the area. Youngstown Fire Chief Barry Finley had initially characterized the incident as a natural gas explosion, but later said crews were working to determine if there was a gas leak. Seven people were hospitalized after the fire, one of them in a critical condition. The body of the 27-year-old man who was an employee of the bank was pulled from the site early Wednesday morning, the fire chief said. One woman is still missing after the incident. However, her car isn't at the scene and she hasn't been identified at any hospitals in the area, so crews no longer believe she was at the building when the explosion happened, Youngstown Fire Chief Barry Finley said. Youngstown Police said, the situation is being actively managed. Structural engineers and Enbridge gas workers were called to the scene on Tuesday. The Ohio State Fire Marshal is leading the investigation.